Hi, I'm here to talk about some really great original artwork, watercolor paintings, that celebrate the history of the Baltimore Orioles uniform. And I'll, I'll be showing you this artwork in greater detail in a minute, but it takes us right from the beginning years in, in St. Louis as the Browns, right up to the modern day as the Baltimore Orioles. And this really has some beautiful artwork that would make a great gift, you know, a Mother's Day gift, a Father's Day gift, a Christmas gift, an anniversary gift, a retirement gift, a birthday gift, or it doesn't even need to be a gift. Somebody could just be a great Orioles fan, and this artwork would look beautiful, framed in their home office or in their you know, at their place of work. It really is beautiful artwork. Let me give you a little background, and then we'll get into the artwork. My name is Scott Silcox, and I'm from Toronto. Uh, for 16 years, I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions, and you probably know us Canadians. We use the word Maple Leaf on just about everything we do. And we made and sold a whole variety of products that celebrated the history of NFL uniforms, Major League Baseball uniforms, NHL uniforms, college football uniforms, and even CFL uniforms, but I won't bore you to tears about the CFL. And we used this artwork um, on a variety of products, and, and I'd love to just show you the, some of the products so you have a sense. Our, our product that we sold an awful lot of were our horizontal plaque posters. This, uh, forgive me, Orioles fans, that I'm showing you a Leafs poster, but you get the sense that it, it uses the artwork to trace the evolution of a team's uniform. We did large plaque posters, we did a, a medium vertical format poster, and we also did a small um, horizontal poster. So we used these images on plaque posters, but in addition to plaque posters, we also used them on framed posters. Let me show you just a couple quick examples of some framed posters. Um, again, just you know, my point being that you can see how the artwork was used in this product. That original artwork was actually used in these products. Um, in addition to plaque and frame posters, we also did um, clocks. It's just an example of a clock. Again, showing the evolution of a team's uniform. We did coffee mugs. <laughs> Here's a couple of coffee mugs that show the uniforms. We did fridge magnets. Um, some examples. Uh, we did a great product called a fan frame. Again, just tracing the evolution of a team's uniform. Yeah, we did playing cards, kind of ace, king, queen, jack, ten playing cards. Um, and oh, a variety of other products, mouse pads and collector plates and you, know, you name it, <laughs> we made it. Um, what's my point? My point is that this artwork that I'm about to show you really is somewhat famous artwork. And I know that sounds like I'm patting myself on the back and I, I don't really, you know, it's not my nature. But, but it is, the point is that this artwork really has been seen on tens of thousands of Orioles products. In addition, you, know, you will see this artwork used on products that are hanging in the offices of the league commissioner and team owners offices. You'll see them in TV ads or in TV shows. You'll see them in movies. You'll see this artwork on many team websites. Um, as well, you'll see them in the various halls of fame. So, you know, as much as um, sports artwork can be famous, this really is sports artwork, famous sports artwork that's being offered for sale for the very first time. Um, and by the way, everything that I'm mentioning in this video can be seen at our website devoted to the sale of this artwork. And that website is heritagesportsart.com. Now, let's really focus on the Orioles. We've got 14 pieces of original artwork that trace the evolution of the Orioles uniform from their early years as the St. Louis Browns. This is the 1908 Browns uniform. And I'll just kind of flip through these quickly. And so these are St. Louis Browns um, versions. Um, uh, some neat uh, uniforms that they had when they were the Browns. Then they moved to Baltimore in the in the 50s. Um, and I'm going to keep that one up just for a moment. Um, and all of this artwork can be seen on our website, heritagesportsart.com. You'll be able to zoom right up and you'll see the artist's signature. You'll be able to see any notes that the artist might have left the, you know, the the, you know, uh, those of us who are producing these products, um, and you'll really be able to see this really neat artwork in, in fine, close detail. So you can see we're just flipping through these 14 pieces of Orioles artwork, and we're getting right up to the modern era now, this uh, being the 2000 season, and this being the 2000, and sorry about that, 2004 season, forgive me, that 2004. Um, so, there's 14 pieces of art, and my point is that really there are tens of thousands of Orioles fans across America, um, hundreds of thousands of Orioles fans, I'm sure, and we only have 14 pieces of art. So, if what I'm talking about is of interest to you, please 
act sooner rather than later, I guess is my point. And I feel like I'm selling Ginsu knives or super chamois here, giving you a hard sales pitch. I'm not. The point is, we've only got 14 pieces of original art. Now, let me describe how you can purchase it, you, the formats that you can purchase it. The first way is you can actually buy this raw, unframed art. Just as you see here, this you know, beautiful piece of artwork on, on beautiful textured artistic paper. This, in the prices that I'm going to be describing, hold for all 14 pieces except the three years that the Orioles won the World Series. And in those years, there's a little bit of a premium, just a supply and demand thing. But so the pricing that I'm talking about holds for the majority of these pieces, the non-World Series winning years. So you could buy this raw, unframed artwork. It's $350. Um, that price includes UPS shipping right to your door, so if you placed an order today, we would ship it in the next 24 or 48 hours, and you'd get it within a week's time, and then you could choose to have it framed or mounted however you see fit. So the first way is you could buy it in this raw, unframed format. The second way you could buy it is in what we call our classic framed format. Forgive me that I'm showing you a Denver Broncos piece, but you'll get the point. Um, it's got a black metal frame, a double white mat, then the framed artwork, um, uh, in your case the Orioles artwork, and then there's an engraved plate telling the story of the artwork. So this classic framed version is $425. It includes UPS delivery as well, and it would be custom framed. You can actually see how this artwork's a little bit wider than the Denver one, so we would be framing this a little bit differently, but in the same style. And so it would be custom framed you know, for you, and therefore, if you place the order today, it would really take two to three weeks before it would arrive on your doorstep. So, first option, unframed. Second option, classic framed. And the third and final option is our deluxe framed piece. In this case, it's a larger black frame, a black mat, the artwork, an engraved plate. And then the neat touch is we actually would put, you know, frame a small horizontal poster showing the evolution, in your case, of the, of the Orioles you know, the evolution of the Orioles uniform, so you could actually look at your artwork and say, okay, this is the 1956 uniform, oh, I see how it was used right there, you know, in that horizontal poster. So this deluxe version is $450, that again includes UPS shipping, and it would be custom framed, so if you placed an order, it would take two to three weeks before it would actually arrive on your doorstep. So those are the three options that um, you can order the, the artwork. Now, just uh, while I think of it, this artwork, all of this beautiful artwork, was painted by a wonderful artist and an equally wonderful person, a man by the name of Bill Band. And this artwork actually belongs to Bill. Bill's asked me for my help in promoting the sale of the artwork, and I'm delighted to help Bill. He's a good friend and, and uh, seems to make a lot of sense that we work together. Um, now, how to purchase it. There's really two ways, very simple. First is visit our website, heritagesportsart.com. It's fully e-commerce enabled. You'll be able to buy using any major credit card through the PayPal system. Or if somehow you, or you had other questions or you felt a little uncomfortable buying online, then call me. My name is Scott. My cell phone number is 416-315-4736. I'd love to talk to you. It would be fun to talk to you. an Orioles fan. I could tell you some of the history that um, you know, is behind this whole project or, or little stories about each of these pieces of art. Um, I could tell you about the artist or working with Major League Baseball, so if you wanted to have a chat and, and place an order live and in person, please feel free to call me. Um, I just have two other quick points and then I'll leave you alone. You've been very patient. Um, my first point is, if you happen to know other Orioles fans who you think might you know, enjoy original framed art, um, I would be very appreciative if you'd share this YouTube URL with them. That would be really nice of you. And secondly, I, I mentioned at the outset that in addition to the Orioles and Major League Baseball art, we've also done art for all the NFL teams, NHL teams, quite a few NCAA college football teams. In fact, our website has over 1,500 pieces of original art available. Somebody could be a, a Ravens fan or a Redskins fan or a Nationals fan or a Washington Capitals fan. We've got artwork for all of those. So you know, please, you know, if you know somebody that you think might be interested in, in great art of, of their favorite team, it would be very nice if you'd share the website heritagesportsart.com. So you've been very patient. Thanks for your time. I, I may not have a career ahead of me as a, a Ginsu knife salesman, I have a feeling. Um, thanks for your time. All the best to the Orioles in the upcoming seasons. Thanks. Bye.